Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over motion. Now we talked about motion a couple of different ways with respect to animation, right? So you get an image and you move it on the screen. But now we want to talk about the type of motion where it seems like you're moving forward. All right, so there's several ways of doing it, but the easiest way I found is just get an image, start on the right side of the screen, and move it to the left side in a slow fashion, and it makes it look like you're moving forward, okay? Like right here. So we have these columns, I'm gonna call them, and they're moving forward, so it makes us look like this Firefox is moving forward in the world, okay? Well, not really, of course, but it's the general concept. So if I had a background image that was very complicated, it would take a long time to make it, but at the same time, it would look might nice because it's moving across, it looks like you're moving forward. And that's how a lot of video games are made as well, if you think about it. You're moving forward, but you're not really moving, you're staying stationary, it's just that the background is moving from right to left. Okay, so let's go over how we do that. So in this one, um, we're gonna simplify it a little bit. We're just gonna say, I'm gonna create a resource manager add bitmap data column one, and all column one is literally, it's a blue rectangle. All right, just made a quick blue rectangle. I was gonna make a column two, a shorter rectangle, but I'm not gonna use that for this video. And so we get this bitmap data column resource manager. I think we know how to do that as well. And then <clears throat> what we're gonna wanna do is find a way to create multiple sprites. So notice that we're creating multiple sprites on the screen that just keep coming and coming and coming. How are we gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna create a class. So my class is right here, class column, because these are columns, right? Um, class sprite, sprite equals new sprite. Okay, this is not dependency injection, but I couldn't get this to work using dependency injection. I could here, stage, stage, um, this dot stage, but I couldn't get it to actually go with um, instantiating a new sprite. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just couldn't figure out in the short time that I was working on this. Um, if I can find a way in the future, I'll, I'll probably add a comment in the section below. But what we'll do is we'll get sprite.addChild, column resource manager from here. Then we're going to put the width, place it over here and put the height down below. So it's gonna start down in the right lower corner itself. I said height minus 200 because if I didn't do that, the thing was actually gonna be quite high up inside of here, okay? Because I made it, I made the image too tall. And then what I'm gonna do is say this dot start. Um, I don't know if I've gone through this before, this dot start. This dot start simply means this column itself, this class, go immediately to the first or start method itself, if I could call this whatever I wanted to, but in this section, I'm gonna call it this.start, so if as soon as you instantiate it, it'll start up this method as well. And we had something similar to that, right, with uh, render loop, var render loop equals new render loop, it automatically started the render loop object, okay? So this is gonna automatically start as soon as we instantiate it, and we're gonna say stage.addChild.sprite, then we're gonna say stage.renderloop.juggler, add tween, we know how to do this, right? And then I'm gonna say, but what I'm gonna do is, if I get this and I move the object across, I don't want the image just to stop right there and be and stand there the whole time. So what I'm gonna have to actually do is, if sprite.x, so if the x axis, okay, the going across axis hits zero, if it hits the left side of the screen, Stage dot remove child, so remove it from the picture, okay, so it disappears like right here, and sprite stream dot cancel. So you want to cancel the stream, remember, because you don't want to have open streams because it takes a lot of memory. And in this particular circumstance, you have to actually close the stream because if you don't, it confuses the application and it's not exactly sure because we have so many um, sprites on the screen, stream, it has so many sprites streams and sprites on the screen that it's not exactly sure which one to actually remove. So you do have to put this sprite stream dot cancel. Okay. So what I'm going to actually do is say const time column. I think we've done this before. Um, const duration seconds equals one. So every one second, I'm going to timer dot periodic instantiate a new column right here with the column resource manager stage height width. Okay, so I'm gonna get all of this and instantiate it every one second. But again, every single time I instantiate it, it automatically starts off and it starts moving, animate from the current position 
over to the zero, and it takes four seconds to do that. If we want to slow our walking speed through, we could just do this. Okay, so I'm just walking or flying because it's Firefox or running, I guess, um, a, a little bit slower. So that's what he's doing. All right. So that's the simplest way I can think of of simulating motion going from the right side to the left. I'm going to just basically call it so it just goes what every second or I could do it every two seconds, every three seconds or speed it up or something like that um, and just move it across the screen as time goes by. Okay, so that's my version of simulating flight or motion itself. Okay, thanks.